Hi guys, welcome to tutorial two. In this tutorial, we're going to be making the leather for the cover. To make the leather, what I've got here is a sprayer with some water in it. I'm going to add about one, one part per six parts of vegetable glycerin. And then we shall give that a shake. And then we're going to spray the surface of each piece of craft card and both sides but on each application we shall rub it in and the reason we're rubbing is to get the glycerin to soak into the surface of the card and help break down the fibres and you'll know when the fibres are breaking down because you'll start to see darker spots appear on the surface of the card. I'm actually going to do three pieces of card, but you do not have to. This is just so I have some spare, because if I'm making this, because it's a process, I might as well have a small stash building up. I want to get some more into here. And you can start to see some dark spotting appearing on this side. This is something you can't really rush too much and it starts to soften you can see it's getting soft enough now to manipulate i'm just going to put a bit more on see how we're doing once you can start to scrunch it i'm doing it carefully because it's very easy to rip this i'm going to start to scrunch it up and create creases i'm going to go different ways and again, this will help push the fibres and break them down even more. See, that is virtually dry, even though a lot of water went onto that. And that's where it's all soaked up into the card. The more creasing you do, the more leather-like it will look. And the more you'll break it down to be soft. So it's beginning to feel like a chamois leather. A leather that you polish cars with. Once you've got a fair amount of creases on there and you're happy with the amount of creasing, you can start to add some distress ink to colour it. Here is the vintage photo. I'm going to rub that over both sides. And you can do any number of inks if you want. You'll be spraying it again. Very gently re-scrunching it. And that is going to help move that ink around and create more creases. This time I have the espresso. You can see fibres beginning to come off on the surface of this. So we know it's fully broken down and as soft as it's going to get. Again, very gently. You can see that it's starting to have lots of excess water here. And now we're going to let that, get that flat, rub over some vintage photo again. It's quite a generous, as you can see, amount of colour that you're adding. The same on the reverse. With the fake leather, it's now fully dry. And what I want to do is halve it to make four pieces. two pieces I'm going to lightly dump them down again and put them in an embossing folder and emboss them. Here's the faux leather and I've embossed it with a sort of rivety, you'll see this better when I restain it, style. I need to make a smallish journal, something along the lines of four by six. That would make for a soft cover journal. We might make it a little bit stronger by gluing two pieces together. To glue mine together, I'm just going to use a good layer of Mod Podge. Gently with the burnishing tool. I've cut down 
the two covers. What I will do now is restain it using the vintage photo distress ink and see how this brings out the design. I may need to use a dark stain with this as well. Once you've done the cover all with one colour, you can come back in with a second colour. For example, I'll use the espresso and create more of a two-tone effect. It's going to pick up on some of the veining as well as the embossed bits. And that's going to make the effect stronger again. Once this is stained to a colour that you're happy with, you will need to go over the surface and get off any bits and seal it with the Mod Podge, which will move some of your stain around because it's a distress ink and therefore reacts to liquid. This needs to be done on all the sides and allowed to dry. The next stage is to give this that leathery shine and we can do that using Spray and Shine by Crafter's Companion. If you decide you want it shinier, let each layer dry and then respray. So here we have the finished cover. It's soft but quite thick and durable and very shiny.